What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a WWE and AEW crossover incoming. Is WWE running a huge injury angle? Drew McIntyre challenges CM Punk? Are a tag team splitting up in WWE? A former WWE name buries Mercedes Monet and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at a big one as could we ever get a WWE and AEW crossover? Now our top story today examines the sheer possibility of WWE and AEW collabing for a future show. Now before Triple H took over WWE creative, the notion of WWE working with other companies such as TNA was simply out of the question. However, this has all changed. The game encourages positive working relationships with other companies and this has been great to see as it has endless benefits and multiple companies can reap the financial rewards. In relation to whether WWE and AEW could work together, AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland believes it's possible mainly due to Triple H's attitude towards working with other promotions. Speaking on the Bootleg Kev podcast, Strickland stated, If there's ever a time it could happen, now is more likely than it's ever been. I don't think either person, Tony Khan and Triple H is opposed. I don't think there's ever been a time that's more likely than now. WWE and AEW coming together to produce a super show of sorts would be truly a historic day. The likelihood of this happening is up for debate, as whilst Triple H is willing to work with other promotions, most of the promotions he's been willing to work with have been considerably smaller. If WWE still considers AEW as competition, then the possibility of this working relationship and the two companies producing a super show would dramatically fall. This is perhaps a smart question to ask the game at the next post-show press conference, as it would be extremely interesting to see what he has to say on the subject. Do you think a crossover between WWE and AEW would ever work? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE running Cody Rhodes' injury angle. Who was the swerve of the year this weekend on SmackDown as AJ Styles faked his retirement in order to take out WWE Champion Cody Rhodes? AJ delivered a vicious assault on Rhodes and even delivered a Styles clash on Rhodes from the steel steps. Following SmackDown, AJ continued the assault and there were numerous referees and WWE officials that tried to de-escalate the situation and make sure that the American Nightmare was okay. Rhodes had to be physically helped to the backstage area, so it looks like WWE may be delivering an injury angle. Rhodes vs AJ Part 2 is the obvious destination, yet it's unclear when the match will take place. Clash at the Castle is a possible event for the match to take place, but with just two weeks until the show, the WWE doing the injury angle, they may hold off on the match. As things stand, Rhodes is indeed advertised for the PLE in two weeks, however this doesn't necessarily mean he has to wrestle on the show. Last month at King and Queen of the Ring, world champion Damian Priest didn't have a match booked for the show, so it's not completely out of the question for WWE to leave the title off the card. Next up, Drew McIntyre challenges CM Punk. Following this week's SmackDown, Drew McIntyre competed in a dark match, and after his match, he cut a promo where he addressed CM Punk. McIntyre formally challenged Punk to a 1v1 match, and he even offered him a world title shot. When I win the title, I'll offer him a title match. His ego is so big, he will say yes to the title match. Social media will freak out, tickets will fly, there'll be a buzz you've never seen. Punk and I will be in this ring eye to eye with each other. The bell will ring, and then I'll embarrass him worse than he embarrassed himself in the UFC, and we'll move on. McIntyre vs Punk for the world title will of course depend on McIntyre winning the world title in two weeks at Clash at the Castle. Logic would assume that WWE will finally crown McIntyre, and if WWE throw a curveball into McIntyre's match with Damian Priest and have Punk cost McIntyre, it may cause a literal riot. Earlier this year, it looked like the world title match for this year's SummerSlam was going to be McIntyre vs Punk. However, Gunther has thrown a spanner in the works. Gunther won the 2024 King of the Ring, and in doing so, he has earned a world title opportunity for this year's SummerSlam event. This means that McIntyre vs Punk for the world title as a singles match can't take place and this has led to speculation that the match will take place at SummerSlam but the match won't be for the top prize on Raw. There is a possibility of WWE delivering a triple threat with McIntyre, Punk and Gunther, however the demand centers around seeing a 1v1 match between McIntyre and Punk and anything else may be met with criticism and disappointment. WWE fans are in for a wild summer and it's incredibly exciting that no one seems to know the direction in which Triple H is taking the world title. Next up are former WWE names, Barry Mercedes Monet. Two former WWE names have come forward to state that current AEW star Mercedes Monet, aka Sasha Banks, has a rotten reputation backstage in WWE. The two names in question are Tom Carlucci, who was a production assistant for WWE, and Jonathan Coachman, who had various roles within the company. 
The two appeared on the Behind the Turnbuckle podcast, and this is what they had to say regarding Monet. I don't think she's great at all, so I never thought she was this whole bag of chips that everybody thought she was here as Sasha Banks, and she was difficult to work with too. Coachman then chimed in and took things to the next level. There are certain superstars that over the years act a certain way backstage, and they get a certain reputation, and they can't get rid of that, and Sasha had that. So when you heard some of those numbers that she was asking for, you know, WWE or AEW, I was blown away that either side was even entertaining a deal that magnitude of what she reportedly got. Because I agree with you, she's never been the star that Becky is, that Charlotte is, or that Rhea is. These comments seem rather drastic, and hopefully Monet responds as having her entire career questioned on a podcast can't be great to hear, and she'll likely want to defend herself. Next up, a WWE star addresses crowd shift. One of the breakout stars of 2024 has been Tiffany Stratton. Since her call up to the WWE main roster, the fans have been fully connected with Stratton and her popularity has vastly increased compared to her time in NXT. Stratton was asked why the crowd has suddenly decided to cheer for her during an interview on Witty Wittier and the former NXT Women's Champion had this to say in a response. You know, I'm honestly trying to figure that out as well. I just feel like when I go out there, I'm kind of just authentically me, just kind of turned up a little bit, and I feel like people, they notice that, and they see that, and like, I'm not playing an act almost. So I feel like that's why people can relate to me, or they buy whatever I'm putting down. They believe it. They think that that's who I really am, and that's because it is. As things stand, Stratton is considered one of the odds-on favorites to win the Money in the Bank briefcase next month. Next up, RA Town Down under Splitting Up. The WWE have heavily teased an Austin Theory babyface turn for months, and this continued on SmackDown this week as his partner Grayson Waller took a number of shots at Theory. There has been rampant speculation that WWE could be slowly breaking up the reigning tag team champions, however based on a recent WWE trademark filing, this won't be happening anytime soon. On May 31st, WWE filed a trademark for the name A-Town Down Under. Does this suggest that the duo won't be splitting up anytime soon? It's possible as WWE trademarking a team that they don't plan on being together in the long term doesn't make too much sense. Yet from WWE's perspective, it's probably much easier to have the name secured in case creative plans change or they wish to book a reunion down the road. WWE also filed for the trademark Awesome Truth, so it looks like the partnership between The Miz and Our Truth will also be continuing on WWE TV. And finally, contract news for a top AEW star. Our final story today takes a look at contract news for one of AEW's biggest talents. John Moxley was one of the AEW's first significant signings for the promotion, and he has maintained his position as arguably their most consistently over talent on the entire roster. Thanks to a Q&A via Fightful Select, it's been confirmed that Moxley isn't set to leave AEW anytime soon, as his AEW deal doesn't expire until the end of 2027. This means that a shield reunion in WWE is strictly off the table, but that is unless AEW and WWE deliver a collaboration of sorts. While some fans are still fantasy booking the idea of Moxley aka Dean Ambrose back in the WWE, it's evident that Moxley is extremely happy working for Tony Khan as well as competing for other promotions such as New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's entirely possible that the former WWE and AEW World Champion retires in AEW, however this is pro wrestling and fans can always expect the unexpected. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.